So NetSuite, you know, also offers this budgeting feature where you can set up your budgets for your uh, financial year for your GL accounts. And based on the budgets, you can also see your budget versus actuals. So again, you know, a very cool feature from the financials and accounting perspective. So I'm going to really quickly show you that as well. So you go in transactions, financial, and you have your setup budgets. Click on that and it's going to open up your budget form. So this is basically a budget form where you can set up the budget. You have your subsidiary or the company for which you need to set up the budget. So let's say, you know, I'm going to select GDS Corp. This is the company for which I need to set up my budget. Okay. I select my fiscal year or the year for which I need to set up my budget, like 2020, 2021, 2022. Like, you know, organizations would be doing some budgeting internally, right? For their fiscal year, the targeted sales or the targeted expenses and all that stuff. So you can select your fiscal year. You can select your budget category, like, uh, you know, for which type of uh, uh, budget you are trying to achieve here. Maybe it's uh, the monthly budget or maybe it's, you know, uh, like uh, a preliminary budget and a revised budget, something like that. I'll come back on the category later, but for now you have to select a category uh, and based on this category, you can see your budget versus actual. So let's say, you know, it's a budgeted category right now. You can set your budget by department, class and location as well. So if you want to set your expense budget for a particular department, you can select the department over here. If you want to set a budget for your class, you can set it over here. You can select the, the class and you can set the budget for that particular class as well. And if you keep this empty, it means that you are setting the at the GL level or the you know account level. So you have the option available in NetSuite to either do it at the account level, or you can also deeper uh, into the granular level, which is class, location, department, item, customer, and then later, you know, see the budget mm -hmm. versus actual accordingly as well. You have the account type okay. here. So account type primarily used to, you know, filter your expense and income account. So let's say right now I I want to set my budgets for my income uh, accounts. I can select income. And no, this all the income accounts will only only show up on your screen here. So this is, you know, again for the sake of better user experience, uh, you can use the account type for your, uh, you know, better visibility. Now let's say, you know, uh, mm -hmm. for my finished goods revenue, I want to set up a budget. So what I will do is, let's say I will enter for the month of January 2021. I have a budget of five thousand. Now, if I want to set this budget for the rest of the year, what I will do is I will click on this and I will go on the top. And here I have this option called fill. So if I click on fill, okay. you will notice that all the periods are now updated with 5000 and my total budget is 6000. Right. Right. Okay. And let's say for my merchandise sale, I have a total budget. I don't have a monthly budget. I have a total budget of let's say uh 72000 and i want to equally distribute it in all the months i can simply click here and click distribute so notice that now netsuite distributed all this and my yearly budget is 72000 so this is how you know you can fill all these uh, account budgets uh, when you are setting up the budget okay Okay. Is is this making sense? What we are trying to do here for each income yes, account, yes. we are trying to set up a monthly budget. Yes. Okay. And now once this is done, you simply save it. Now this budget is saved. And uh, the next thing that as an accountant or as a finance person that you would be doing is reviewing it at uh, the month end with your actuals. So when I go in reports, I go in banking and budgeting and I have budget versus actual report over here. So when I click on this, so here again, you know, you remember the budget category. So based on the budget category, you can uh, review your budget. So let's say I, I selected a category of budget. I'm going to select my period mm -hmm. range. Let's say from Jan 2021 to
October 2021. I'm going to select my uh, subsidiary over here. I'm going to select GDS Corp all. And I'm going to refresh this. So now notice this 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 report is actually showing you what was your budget amount for a particular uh, account and what is the actual that you have uh, you know, uh, achieved so let's say you know my finished goods revenue was set uh, for the complete overall company to 10 million but so far i have only been able to achieve only 500000 so i am you know under uh, under my budget i have not received uh, you know uh, achieved my targets yet and same goes for mm -hmm. the expenses as well. So let's say, you know, uh, let me just quickly show you some expenses. So here you see this payroll expense. So my payroll uh, budget was only 4,166, but I have incurred expenses of 5,000 now. So this is now showing me that I am over utilizing my budget as well. So this is, this is you know, okay. uh, a very good tool for the accounts team to, to identify where, where the organization is, you know, uh, under utilizing a budget or over utilizing a budget by using the budget versus actual report you have the percentage amount as well in which uh, this is uh, this variance has incurred and uh, based on that you can identify the, the 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 problematic areas and you can you know further drill down and see the the root cause of that issue so this is this is you know a very very high level overview of why an organization would be doing budgets and using the budget versus actual you you identify the variances and based on the variances, you take the necessary measures to, you know, uh, to 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 solve the problems or, you know, identify the root causes. So, like, you know, uh, you reviewing the sales figure, it would uh, uh, identify the management that either the budget is uh, over optimistic or we are not selling it properly. So now, based on this, you know, you can take uh, the necessary decisions in your organizations.